Welcome to this FaceTime tutorial by the Mary F. English program. FaceTime is a popular VOIP service that lets you call one other FaceTime user at a time for free anywhere in the world. Unlike Skype, Uvu, and Google Hangout, FaceTime does not allow you to talk with more than one person at a time. FaceTime is probably the easiest VOIP service to use, and it has computer and mobile versions. While the app is called FaceTime on Macs, iPads, and iPods, FaceTime can be found within the phone app of iPhones. The major limitation of FaceTime is it will only work with Apple products, so you won't be able to call someone who is using Windows or an Android mobile phone. Also, FaceTime does not allow for screen sharing, so you may want to use Skype or Google Hangout if you want to share your computer screen. Since I don't have an Apple machine, I can't demonstrate FaceTime from a computer, so I'll be demonstrating the app using screenshots from an iPad. FaceTime will work very similarly on Macs, iPhones, and iPods. So on iPads and iPods and Mac computers, the FaceTime logo will look like this. If you have an iPhone, the FaceTime features will be found under the Phones app. If your device doesn't already have FaceTime, you can go to the App Store to download it. To start using FaceTime, the first thing we'll do is go to our Settings tab. Scroll down until FaceTime is visible and click it. If your FaceTime is turned off, people will not be able to contact you, so make sure you select On. The app will need your Apple ID, and then you can insert what email address you want people to contact you through. Your email address works like your phone number would when somebody's calling you. They're going to enter your email address, and that's how they could start a FaceTime chat with you. Once you have that configured, go back to your screen and select the FaceTime app. So this is what my camera sees right now on the front of my iPad and anyone I'm chatting with is going to see what's displaying here. Over here is my contact list which I'll click to initiate a Skype call and to add a contact you're going to click this button up here and it will let you enter any contact information you want first name, last name, email address, phone number, etc. So if I click one of the names here any contact information I have for this person would be displayed here. I can send a message to this person using the messages app I can share this person's contact information with other people through email, and I can add the person to my favorites list. To initiate a FaceTime chat with this person, you're going to click the name here. Now, usually there's a FaceTime logo right here. It doesn't appear on my machine for some reason, but if you click this, it will work. Now, this is what the FaceTime invite will look like on the person I'm calling's machine. This was what my camera was looking at right before I hit the call button. So be aware that a picture of yourself will be sent to your friend as soon as you hit the call button. So the user can reject my call or they can click accept. And if they do, the chat will begin. So the person you're chatting with will take up most of your screen right in the middle here. And you will be over in one of the corners so you can see how you look through the, your own camera. And the interface is really simple. You can hit a mute button here so the person you're talking to can't hear you. Or if you're using a mobile device that has a camera on the other side, you can switch what camera you're broadcasting with by clicking here. And when you're done with the call, you can click the end button in the middle. And one last feature worth knowing is that if you press the home button to see your app screen, you could use your apps like normal while you're still on the phone call. And when you're ready to go back to the call, just click the top of your screen. That's basically it. FaceTime is the easiest VOIP you can use today as long as you're calling someone who has an Apple device. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you'd like to learn about other VOIP services, check out our Skype, Google Hangout, Google Voice, or Uvu tutorials. Thank you.